Yo, what's up, tech heads? Buckle up, because today we're diving into the dark abyss of mobile phone history. We're talking about the clunkers, the duds, the phones so bad, they make your grandma's rotary look like a cutting edge masterpiece. That's right, we're ranking the top 10 worst mobile phones ever made. Number 10, the exploding Galaxy Note 7. Remember that phone that caught fire more often than a mixtape from Lil Wayne? Yeah, that was the Note 7. Samsung's pride and joy turned into a walking fireball, forcing a global recall and leaving a crater in their reputation. Talk about a hot mess. Number 9. The Facebook phone nobody asked for. The HTC First was like a bad blind date set up by your overzealous aunt. Facebook integration? More like Facebook infestation. This phone was so obsessed with social media it forgot to be, you know, a good phone. No wonder it met its demise faster than a birthday cake at a kid's party. Number 8. The Clicky Nightmare. The Blackberry Storm promised a revolutionary keyboard, but all it delivered was a symphony of frustration. That clicky screen was more trouble than it was worth, leaving users with sore thumbs and shattered dreams. Number 7. The Amazon Fire Phone Flop. This phone was like a participation trophy in the smartphone Olympics. Trapped in Amazon's walled garden, it offered nothing new or exciting. And that gimmicky dynamic perspective thing? More like dynamically disappointing. Number 6. The Symbian Swan Song. The Nokia N900 was a beast in its day, but saddled with a dying operating system and battery life that rivaled a narcoleptic hamster. This phone proved that even the mighty can fall, and Symbian wasn't long for this world. Number 5. The Buggy WebOS Wonder. The Palm Pre had potential, but its WebOS was like a toddler learning to walk, wobbly, crash-prone, and in desperate need of a nap. And let's not forget the price tag that could buy you a small island. Talk about a bad investment. Number 4. The two-screen shenanigans. The Kyocera Echo tried to play the multitasking game, but its second screen was about as useful as a chocolate teapot. It just made the phone bulky and awkward, proving that sometimes less is more, especially when it comes to unnecessary screens. Number 3. The Circular Dial of Doom. The Toshiba G450 was like a phone designed by Salvador Dali after a particularly trippy lunch. That circular dial pad, more like a torture device for your fingers. This phone proved that innovation can sometimes go horribly wrong. Number 2. The Overpriced Paperweight. The Virtu Constellation X was like a diamond encrusted brick. Sure, it was expensive, but it offered nothing special except bragging rights for billionaires. This phone was the ultimate reminder that money can't buy you good taste or a decent camera. Number 1. The Kingdom of Confusion and the grand prize for the worst phone ever goes to, the Microsoft Kin. This phone was a masterclass in bad decisions, confusing pricing, limited features, and a complete disconnect from its target audience. The Kin was like a social media experiment gone horribly wrong, and Microsoft learned the hard way that sometimes it's better to just stay out of the smartphone game. So there you have it, folks, the 10 worst mobile phones ever made. Remember, these are just our picks, so let us know in the comments what phone disasters you think should have made the list. And hey, if you're still rocking one of these clunkers, maybe it's time for an upgrade. Unless you're into self-inflicted pain, of course. In that case, carry on. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more techie goodness. Until next time, peace out.